Schools open for second term on 9th May 2022 for learners in pre-primary, primary and secondary levels. According to the Ministry of Education and Sports, some schools closed earlier before completion of the 14 weeks of the school calendar, which will affect the learners catch up with the school curriculum. This is disadvantaging the learners' concerns since they won't be able to cover the required curriculum content. So I hope that uh, the schools that closed before time at least made some arrangements for the children to finish their work that they were supposed to finish in the 14 weeks. As schools prepare to start, Ministry of Education and Sports cites a problem of schools hiking fees in the disguise of costs of requirements going up. The ministry says, despite giving guidelines and issuing circulars, the culture of setting high fees by schools has not changed. The Ministry of Education and Sports is to start consultations on the statutory instrument for regulating fees they have drafted, and if the processes of government are done, this document will be able to give guidelines that must be followed by school heads. That in this season, people should not be doing infrastructure development, for instance, in schools, or buying equipment that is expensive, or transport, or that, that would require schools to... to hike the, the school fees. The Minister for Education and Sports, Janet Museveni, has also expressed concern over the time schools release children after classes, emphasizing that their schools have kept learners beyond 8 p.m. and children are picked at 4.30 a.m. and dropped at school before 7 a.m. She has tasked the Education Policy Review Commission to critically study this matter and see what further policy interventions government needs to make in this regard. Putting them at risk for sending them home late and we expect them at school early and it's dangerous for, for these children. I want to appeal to local governments to head teachers and to parents to really look into this matter to ensure that children are not on the road after five. On the seed secondary schools constructed in different sub-counties across the country, Janet emphasized that they are day schools and there are no dormitories, so parents should take responsibility to accommodate and feed their children. She also urged them to monitor and have interest in these government projects. Fencing of these schools and to plant trees and we will follow up and, and, uh, and hold competitions for schools to see which schools are really now doing what the ministry guides them to do. Because we don't want uh, animals coming into the school compounds to feed and to run when, around when schools are going on, we want hedges around schools. Meanwhile, on the issue of schools that want to increase school fees, the minister has advised them to follow the guideline of applying to the permanent secretary of the ministry and present their reasons for the increase. I'm Navka Farida and Abdullah Silwama in Kampala.